hello, my name is Lauri and uh, I'm making a video for Kerbal Space Program to celebrate my successful uh, propulsive flying in the planet Eve. So this has been uh, one of my dreams in this game uh, to fly in also in other planets than Kerbal because it makes the exploration much more fun. So the, uh, here's the plane and uh, it has been tested on Kerbal so that it kind of requires meets the minimum requirements of flying and then I assume that then it's also quite okay in EVE where it's much more denser atmosphere and higher gravity. But the uh, design uh, uh, goals were to make something compact and uh, minimalistic. Also something that fits very well in the protective shell so it's easy to transport. It has uh, two electric motors, one in the front and one in the back for the reason that uh, if there would be only one then it would cause this torque effect which would cause the plane to constantly roll on to one direction but having the other plane kind of autocorrects this problem uh, Then we have also folded wings which also helps the plane to fit the shell and then we have this uh, back wheel here uh, that makes landing and taking off a little bit safer for the back propel because uh, it's quite annoying to break the plane in some far off place yes we are flying woohoo uh, you can see that uh, the plane has quite high angle of attack but hopefully this won't be a problem well actually I already know that it won't be a problem but and uh, yes it's quite difficult to fly and uh, land on Kerbal as you can see you can try to so it just doesn't work very well maybe a little bit hard uh, yeah but hopefully things will go better in the in the EVA place but yeah, next I will show how I la launched it and also how I deployed it through the atmosphere on EVE. Okay, so here you can see a brief description of the launcher of the uh, plane for EVE. Here we have the plane itself and uh, the protective shell and it is some uh, fuel tanks for the thrusters to keep the orientation and here we have the deployable heat shield and this is the interplanetary propulsion system here and uh, then the rest of is to just getting away from uh, the Kerbal the big and uh, light fairing was actually quite a bit of a problem and I had to make many rocket verses before I found this uh, successful formula. I tend to make the rockets uh, shorter and with large like liquid uh, side boosters but uh, because of the fairing the gravity turn was really difficult to make. I guess the uh, center of gravity was so low that the rocket flipped very easily. But this seems to be very good and it might not even need the extra wings on the end of the rocket.
Okay, so we have uh, cleared the deep space now and we are ready to attempt to enter the atmosphere. I have had quite many mixed results with this, so I hope this is the successful and final time now. Yes. Some and here and I deploy the sheet shield. We are ready to go. Let's see, yes, 64, let's see. Uh, most likely we are not able to enter the atmosphere directly. We will make one uh, uh, breaking round first to enter the orbit. Yes, let's go a little bit faster because life is short. Okay, now we are, you know it wasn't enough, I think, we'll have to make another pass. I really hope that we end up in the light side, because otherwise this will be a very dull video in the dark, I mean flying with the plane. Yeah, let's try. Correct orientation and then plunge into the atmosphere, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed a strange thing that uh, time warping on uh, on X2 seems to like uh, be more favorable on this heel seat. I might be imagining things, but. end up on the ocean, then I'm not going to easily show this landing part of the project. But yeah, this looks now favorable and looks like we are going to enter, we want it or not, on Eve's atmosphere. Yes, yes, finally some luck. And we are not going to explode, I think. Yeah, there, there might be some instability in this uh, device later on, so but it shouldn't be critical even if we flip. But this seems to be quite uh, uh, stable. I was able to put the center of mass quite low, close to the heat shield, so it keeps it orientation quite well. But I don't dare to go any faster. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, we are clear. Yes, this was quite favorable. Also, we are on the land. Also, although I think we are going to lose the seaside. Damn. I thought we... Were, I was seeing the shadow already of this craft, but it was just some... some something on my screen. Twelve... 11 Let's go a few kilometers still We are eager to deploy but yeah, Well, let's do it Okay, ready Little bit crude but it does the trick 
No, not that one. This one. Okay, now we are... The plane is in the atmosphere, but... Uh, I wouldn't call it still flying. Let's see if we can stop this rotation and point downwards. Well, let's deploy the plane, uh, the wings. Yes. Okay, now we are in business. So now we are already gliding. That's the that's the first milestone. Oh, now we have some shadows also there, and I bet one of those is our friend. Yeah, but let's not try to share the fate of those previous parts that hit the ground. Do we have any? Yeah, there's the heat shield, I think. Flipping wildly. Yes. Let's uh, turn on the engines. It's a little bit difficult to see the height. We don't have all day, so let's try to go faster. Okay, now we are... Let's level out. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Ah. Oops. Almost a deathly mistake. I had the brakes on, which changed the, also the blade angle of the rotors. So basically they were like uh, not producing much thrust, but now we are going well. So yeah, so this is it, we are flying on EVE, as you can see. And uh, we... It's not like super fast, but it's... It's uh, easy to fly. I could a little bit decrease the authority limit, to maybe... It's now not so hazardous then. So let's conclude this with uh, hopefully a successful landing. Short throttle down. Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah. Yes, it didn't want to show this ending, but this is how it goes this time, so yeah, but, but thanks for uh, watching the video.